Aaron, you typically come out pretty quickly after the game. What kept you over half hour today? Uh, I was just, I was talking to some people and then I knew Guardy jumped in and then everyone kind of jumped in. So I was just having conversations with uh, some players, front office, things like that. How frustrating is it to, to see Cole struggle the way he did in that first inning and put this team in a, a 4 nothing hole against a good pitching staff? Yeah, tough inning, obviously. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Um, I mean, and a frustrating inning too, you know, Lau kind of just barely nubs one enough to get things started. And then, you know, he misfires with, with Choi to leads to the walk. And then, you know, I thought he made a pretty good pitch to Diaz uh, that he grounded up the middle. That's close to maybe getting us a couple. And then a 1-0 backdoor breaking ball that Meadows hits out of the park. That's like, man, it's, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, it's hard to say mistake 1-0 backdoor breaking ball that you're getting back into the count. He sticks it in the seat, and all of a sudden, it's, it's a four spot on the board. And from there, I thought he really settled in, actually, and threw the ball well. Um, so frustrating, no question, that first inning. But, you know, it, it, it really wasn't that far off from, you know, being a clean inning for him. So it, I, I think definitely frustrating for all of us. Well, you're very good. The next question. Um, hey, Aaron, just because we didn't have the opportunity to speak to you afterwards, um, what did you see from Luis Severino? Oh, Sevi was really good. Um, an, another really good step for him. I think he ends up throwing 49 pitches. You know, I, I was standing right behind watching. Uh, the slider was really good. The cutter uh, is, is, is becoming a really good pitch. When he won the life on the fastball, it was there flashed a really good changeup. So I'm, I'm excited about where he is. I know he is too, and uh, another really good step for him. Uh, what would be the next step if there is one right now that you've decided? Yeah, so he'll, he'll now, you know, his next one will be five days, look to be uh, in a game, uh, probably a few innings. Uh, I, I don't know where yet. I don't know where we have him slated to go yet, but that'll be the next thing for him. And obviously, uh, Aaron, you guys, your starting pitcher has been quite good. The, the last couple of weeks, they're performing very well, and it has been the offense that has been letting you down. That continuity, why isn't it happening, do you believe? You know, today was just obviously a frustrating day. Obviously, we get down behind early there. Um, you know, first of all, credit to Patino. I, I thought he threw the ball really well. He was very tough on us, um, and, and we just weren't able to, to mount much. Um, I thought Rugi got some good swings off him where he just missed a couple balls uh, and we hit a few balls to the warning track, but just couldn't get enough going. So uh, we've done enough offensively here to win ball games, but um, today was a case where we were shut down and, and just didn't mount much. And then obviously it got away from us. Brian, how you the next question? Aaron, uh, you said you checked in with Cash, I believe. Uh, wh what's your sense of where they are and is there more to come? They're still here in Tampa. Um, um, just kind of grinding through, you know. We got, we'll see what, if anything else comes. But, uh, you know, obviously they're essentially in the war room and kind of having those conversations, I know, with, with other clubs and uh, exploring every option. And, and who knows? We'll see. Do you think you'll have Gallo tomorrow? I do, I do. But, you know, uh, I think the plan is for them. I think they get in sometime tonight, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, we should be should be good to go tomorrow. Great, thank you. Ms. Yadler, you have the next question. Aaron, what are you seeing from John Carlos Sands at bats on, on this road trip? Yeah, just, you know, not 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 real on balance, you know, not getting to that backside and getting that real good load where, um, you know, he's getting off that strong swing. Um, you know, I know he worked real hard a, a lot yesterday early on some of the mechanical things, but I think just, you know, getting to that backside and then and then working off of that to where he, he's, he's able to build some speed, have the breaks, and then make quality swing decisions. And is... There any update on the plan to have him in the outfield in Miami? No, we, you know we got a lot going on tonight. We'll kind of see where we're at uh, going into the weekend. Obviously, with some new people joining us. Randy Miller, you have the next question. 
Aaron, you talk a lot about having uh, the highest of expectations. Uh, almost August to be five over 500. I know that's disappointing to you, but you're only three back in the wild card. Uh, would you, if you guys don't make any moves, do you think that the team you have right now still can be a team that gets to the World Series and wins it, which you say is the goal? Absolutely. Um, now, clearly we have a little bit of an uphill battle and we know we've got to play really well down this, not, not, I don't want to say down the stretch, we got a lot of season left to be calling it down the stretch, but we've got to play really good baseball the final two months of the season to give ourselves a chance to, to get into the dance. And, um, but, but I, there's no question in my mind that, you know, we get hot at the right time that we're, you know, we're capable of, of not only playing with, but beating anyone in this, in this sport.